On the UConn Sports Nation hotline is quarterback Real Mitchell from St. John Bosco out in California, who was on campus this past Saturday taking in the scrimmage on an unofficial visit at UConn. Real, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. So first up, coming from California, how do you like the trip to UConn, and what was your impression of the school and the football program as a whole? Um, well, it was cool coming to the East Coast and uh, seeing a kind of, a kind of a rural campus and state. Um, but you know, being up there the whole day was cool. Me and the staff and um, some of the players, and seeing that scrimmage like you mentioned before, um, seeing how you know the dynamics of the offense works, and then meeting with some of the coaches and getting to know their plan for me in the future. So it was all it was a fun trip. Did anything surprise you about the visit? Um, surprise? Um, not really. Um, you know, a lot of Division One universities are you know kind of along the same lines of how they function. So uh, no, nothing really surprised me. What well, you mentioned uh, the offense? What What do you like about the offense, and what do you think of offensive coordinator Rhett Lashley? Um, well, their offense is very similar to my offense. Uh, vice versa. So I sat down with Coach Lashley and uh, we looked at some film from his previous years at you know Auburn, and um, you know we run identical stuff. I was you know telling him my offensive terms for his plays, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we run similar stuff, so it wouldn't be you know that hard of a transition if I was to go to UConn. Now in that offense, uh, a year ago you threw for over 3,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, ran for another 1,016 touchdowns on the ground um what type of quarterback are you it seems like you're really a, a complete all-around uh quarterback um well, you know everyone labels me as, as a dual threat which yep. i would uh, definitely agree with and uh, but with that dual threat uh i would think i'm kind of like a i call myself like a hybrid dual threat because when you think about a lot of dual threats um you think about how a lot of them scramble around and then make plays off of that, whereas I'm as precise as a pocket passer and know when to get out of trouble, and when I do get out of trouble, I know what to do after that with my legs. So, um, And then having my track background definitely helps with that. Now, so you mentioned track. I know you were at practice earlier today. Um, I think I read in one of the Long Beach papers you're the, you're the top 102-meter, uh, 200-meter sprinter uh, in your area for your class. Uh, just talk about how your how your sprinting ability and your speed really helps you at the quarterback position. Uh, well, you know, I think my sprint ability definitely gives me an edge over the competition. And um, being six foot tall, you kind of you're kind of uh, you're not kind of looked down upon, you know, compared to these like six three, six four quarterbacks. And to equalize that out, you know, you got to be better at stuff that those six three, six four guys are, and not only better but have more to offer. And you know that more to offer for me is my speed. Now, on your visit, uh, did you get a chance to sit down with head coach Randy Etzel? I did, yes, sir, at, the, at the end of the visit. What did you uh, like about that discussion? Um, well, I liked him a lot. My dad did especially. Um, he really liked the fact that you know I'd be taken care of um, in that program and with that head coach. And um, My dad asked him you know, really tough questions, that, so that's all answered very very uh, along the lines that he wanted to hear and he's a very respectable man in his resume so he's, he's a great coach now i'm talking with quarterback rail mitchell from st john bosco out of california um took in a visit at uconn this past weekend now, i saw some rumors that you're looking to commit rather early um potentially on may 1st is that still the case and what's going into uh that early decision yeah that's uh that's still the case uh may 1st i'm looking and um, as far as what's going into that decision, um, kind of just I have my top schools and whichever ones, they're, and they're all kind of in the same situation where they're trying to, you know, establish a winning tradition back into their programs. And so, um, and they're trying to look for playmakers like myself that will help that vision. And so um, it's kind of like, okay, well, where would I want to rebuild a program at because all the programs that are recruiting me are kind of in the same situation. So um, I'm looking at, you know, where, what feels like home to me. 
And I know part of your decision is education. I think you're majoring, your major wants to be kinesiology. Uh, did you get a chance to learn about the academic side of, of UConn a little bit? Yes, sir. I definitely met with some academic counselors, and they explained to me um, stuff that I need to be doing now and classes I'd take there um, to fulfill that kinesiology plan. And then I'm trying to, be, trying to go to PT school after that. Um, so, yeah, I met with a lot of good people, and they gave me a lot of good resources that I can use in the future. Now, overall, um, what sort of uh, factors are you going to be looking for in terms of what's going to make one school stand out above another? Um, well, going through, the, going through this recruiting process, I've noticed that you know, a lot of schools are the same. You know, they have the same recruiting, I mean, same uh, facilities and a lot of the same coaches and their philosophies. So it's, um, it's coming down to uh, like I said earlier, what feels like home to me, and um, you know, where would I, where can I see myself for four years um, playing ball and going to school there? And if you know there was an event of a coaching switch or something like that, would I still be happy there? And I know you still have one year left at St. John Bosco. Um, what are your goals for this upcoming year? I know you guys finished ranked in the top ten nationally uh, based on the last USA Today poll. Um, what are you hoping to accomplish during your final year in high school? Um, definitely trying to win the national championship. Uh, we kind of fell short of that this past season. And um, I'm definitely going to lead our team to a national championship this year. Now, how does playing at Bosco and the level of competition you're playing against, how do you think that helps you prepare for playing at the college level? I think it does wonders, um, especially at Bosco where my off, off the line you know, averages Six five, three hundred. So uh, that's you know similar to a Division One um, line um, at the next level. So I think that and playing against the top competition we play against, you know, playing in one of the toughest leagues in the country that constantly produce Division One talent um, is very helpful for me, and it will help in my tr transition into college. Well, Real, I definitely uh, appreciate your time. Uh, definitely. Good luck with the decision you have coming up uh, on May 1st and certainly as you move forward uh, towards the end of the year. Thank you. I appreciate it.